the wind propels the ship. In, in the olden days, the ship, when it is sailing, there was no steam engine. They were using sailing boats. They were using a big piece of fabric, a big piece of cloth tied to a huge vertical pole. And these fabrics, this, these cloth would help the ship to move in a direction. They will arrange the fabric in an angle to harness the wind, to utilize the wind. When the wind would blow, the huge ships would be moving in the direction the, the sailor would bring down the fabric with the help of ropes and arrange them. Let me show you a scripture on this, what God says about the ship and how is it relevant to us. James chapter 3 verse number 4. I request all of you to put your eyes on that scripture and read it for yourself. Look at the ships. Also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, wherever the will of the pilot directs. These huge ships, you can show them the picture of the ship. I got the sailing ships to show you. I'm sure you might have seen this in images, in cartoons, in pictures. These sailing ships, these are the huge ships used to send across the merchandise, used during warfare, used as travel in 17th, 18th century before they could develop steam, steam engine for propelling the ship. So the sails, you can see those white piece of fabric cloth, they were using these cloths to help the ship move. And they would bring down the cloth and arrange it in an angle so that it uses the wind that is blowing. In addition to the sails which are attached to the mast, that is the vertical pole, what else was helpful in the movement of the ship? You saw that in James chapter 3, verse number 4. Show them. It says, a small rudder. Could you please repeat after me? A small rudder. A very small rudder. So the, it is driven by strong winds. Strong winds will push the ship. But a very small rudder will guide where the ship is going. The, the rudder will take the ship to the right destination. Now, what is the rudder? What is the ship? The book of James is talking about. Ship is you. Because it's a vessel that is carrying and going towards a destination. It is representing you. You are going to a destination. Where God wants you to go. To the other side of the shore. What is other side of the shore, pastor? The other side of the shore is your promised land. Where God has promised all things. And he gave it to you on the cross of Calvary. The promised land. So you are going towards the promised land. Now what can help you to reach your destination safely? The small rudder. Now what is rudder? Let Bible interpret Bible. The rudder is the tongue of your mouth. Let's see the next verse. You read it for yourself. Verse number 5. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire. So it says the tongue is the rudder. So also the tongue, the small member of your body, it guides your body. It guides you. It controls your destiny. Amen. Church, I said your tongue controls your destiny. With the use of your tongue, you confessed 
Jesus is my Lord. You said, today I confess my sins. I confess and I believe it in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. The moment you use the rudder, what happened? Your ship, you have moved from the power of darkness and you have been translated into the kingdom of our dear son. You have been moved from the position of hell to being in the position of heaven. The rudder, the tongue moved you from one geographical location to another geographical location. I said geographical location. Yes, heaven is a real place. Amen. Heaven is a real place. So it has moved you. The tongue, amen, has moved you. So the same tongue, the little member, the rudder is moving you towards your destiny. So everything that you're waiting for, your miracles, your healing, your financial breakthrough, the marriage, your children, your ministry, whatever you're waiting for, you're, you're moving towards your promised land. To move to the destination, you have to use the rudder. I said the wind is helping the ship to reach. The wind is blowing in whose favor? The wind is blowing in your favor, church, because you are in the new covenant. The work is finished. Jesus finished the work. You are in the new covenant. Now, wind is not against you. The wind is not stopping you from going. The wind is helping you. The wind, the strong, rushing, mighty wind, the wind of God, Holy Spirit, is pushing you forward, propelling you to reach your destination fast. To reach your place safe. Now what is stopping? The rudder has to be in line. The speech has to be in line. The words has to be in line. What is that you do with the rudder? You speak. You speak the way God speaks. You say what God says. Amen. You say the word. You speak the word. When you speak the word, nothing stops your ship. To move and reach the destination safely. Amen. When, we, when I went to read another scripture, Holy Spirit showed me in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. Where it says, lay hold to the confession. Lay hold fast to the confession of your faith. You can show them that beautiful scripture. And God brought this to light to me. And I saw this particular phrase. Lay, let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. What is the meaning of the word let us hold fast? I went and saw my Greek and I saw the word let us hold fast in Greek. That's in your English Bible. In Greek it says ketko. Ketko. What is the meaning of let us hold fast without wavering our confession? What is ket ko? Show them the Greek ket ko. To hold back, to detain, to retain from going away. Please see the words which are in yellow, the highlighted one. To check a ship's headway, that is to hold or head the ship. Amen. Can you see how beautiful it is related? When the Bible says, Hold fast to the confession. Let us hold fast. That means God is saying, hold on the head of the ship. Hold on to the ship's headway. Detain it. Retain it. Do not allow it. Go in another direction. I said your ship is heading towards the promised land. So for it not to move in a wrong direction, what you do? You hold on to the ship with the help of the rudder. Yes, you hold on to the ship with the help of the rudder and guide the ship to the direction that you want it to go. Amen. So the Bible says, what is the rudder? It's your tongue. So when you are distracted, when you are troubled, when you are carried away by the things of the world and patterns of the world and you are moving and heading towards the wrong direction, the Bible says, hold on to the ship, hold on to the headway. With the help of the rudder, 
turn it towards the right direction amen that's your tongue beloved people you can be a blessing by partnering with priya abraham ministries to share this good news to partner visit priyaabraham.org/partner this excerpt is brought to you by priyaabraham.org to get the full message visit priyaabraham.org